Uh, what is up, guys? I definitely have to finish this sooner or later. Salad fingers, six through ten. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. Let's get the weird shit going. Salad fingers, episode six and through ten. Let's start this shit, even though I don't want to. Come down from there at once, Hubert Cumberdale. You're just a sticky river. Oh. Hello? Uh, who's there? Jeremy Fisher. I, I, I thought you were out fighting the Great War. <laughs> what war? Finger war? I, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand that. You seem to have adopted a strange dialect. Is this a present for me, Mr. Fisher? Why is, does he have a tiny horse? Oh, Can someone explain the tiny name? horse? Horace Horse Collar. Oh. You hold a welcoming texture. I just noticed the plaque on his teeth. Uh, and he eats Jeremy Fisher. Oh, okay. Okay. Nay, <laughs> nay. You're all ready for the big race, H Horace Horsecollar. We're, we're counting on you. And it's suddenly a working toilet out in the middle of nowhere. Where does it plug into? Has it been since I've seen your chops? Ah! Uh, there's blood there too. To wash my petticoat. P pardon? I, 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 I don't understand. What, what is this? Uh, no, this isn't true. You've got the wrong bloke, Squire. Uh, what? What washed those bad thoughts away? Where does it plug into? I think you'd better take me home. Take him home? What? <gasps> I gotta stop questioning shit in this thing. I thought you were out fighting. Why am I even questioning shit? of deflowering her rose. I don't make mistakes, comrade. This one's textbook. I never did get to sample the delights of your flavor. What? This is getting darker and darker by the minute, or by the second. The toilet is evil, man. The toilet is evil. We're only at seven. And he's eating sand for some reason. Yeah, why is he eating sand? Because fuck you, that's why. 
the flour sugar does taste rather queer in this area. We ought to make a record of our findings. Hubert Cumberdale, uh, you've been rather busy. <gasps> what, what, what's this? Uh, could it be uh, Kenneth back from the Great War? Uh, Either I wasn't paying attention in the first one, but who the fuck is Kenneth? Leave to see his older brother. So much weird That's shit happened in one through five. Blokes. To leave for the Great War without me. Come inside and we'll fix you a nice hot bath. I don't like the way he said that. Some shit is going down. Tonight, I see uh, this guy seen Beetlejuice and would love that scene. In the maiden's quarters. I gotta watch Beetlejuice, the movie. That's such Maybe an amazing movie. Come and tuck me in tonight, <laughs> sailor. Stop that. The brave cannon, ba back from the Great War to spread his wild oats. Hope you like sand. It would have been funny if you gave him some oats too. Oh, you feeling a little sleepy? This wooden dent trail should help uh, if one's feeling rather slumberous. He's dead. He's fucking dead. I've been keeping myself rather busy here, uh, working every shift I can. Uh, what I shift? Where, where do you work? Where the fuck do you work? You get paid? What? You work for a living? You afford rent? What? Sure you did. Sure you did. I was just telling Marjorie here about... I was frolicking by the riverside many summers ago. That's the riverside, huh? Okay. Vanilla Crown, uh, said Brother from the Great War. Well, you've yet to eat your beef strong enough. Hmm. Uh, well, back, back you go then. Is he crying? Trenches. Really? He's crying. I only ask that our creator return you unspoiled from the cruel hand of war. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. <laughs> We'll where are we now? I am having so much difficulty trying to figure out where the fuck we are. Don't know when, but I know. No, you're doing it all wrong. You're not playing in the right key. He's not playing. Some he's he's a puppet. Someone's playing. Push. Someone's pulling the string there. 
pull the strings. You get that reference? You're awesome. The cupboard in episode eight. Oh, thank God. We're at eight. Two more. Two more. Well, technically three, but two after this. I like to listen to my radio. I, I, I listen to the war. And sometimes, if I'm an early bird, I listen to Cruxley at breakfast. I can't find a clear station, Roger. Gee, uh, he gets that's the reason. Pity when he hasn't had his sustenance. And that actually works. What? Oh. What a hideous sound. I think you just summoned a demon. Have I happened upon an unpleasant broadcast? What, what's this about, Roger? Orson Welles, War of the Worlds. It doesn't concern me. A man can't cope with all these unpleasant frequencies about. I think I'll sit this one out in the safety cupboard. That's a cupboard. That's a hole in the wall. Tiddledy tap de tum de two, de tiddledy tap de tea. Where are you skipping off to today, Penny Pigtails? I'm heading off the market for some raspberry jam. I'll sell you no such thing, said the market trader. Your legs are made of cotton, and they're far too long. So we just stepped into the shining here for a second. Red rum! Red rum! Oh, all is not lost, Penny Pigtails. You've found yourself a special hair. Don't eat it. Do not eat it. <laughs> he collects strings, eh? You all look so beautiful together. So basically, so he has no strings to hold him down, huh? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, uh, okay, that, was, that sucked, I know. In the breeze. There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over. Tell me that's not shit. Scrub that muck off at once, Hubert Cumberdale. Uh, I'll have no dirty immigrants in my house. Something's amiss here. Something's rising. It ain't good. Roger, I shan't have you bellowing such frequencies at this hour upsetting my insides and worrying my mind. I have a good mind to show you the door.
That's not Oscar Wilde's War of the Worlds. It's not my turn. Yeah, and it's a rotten job. I shan't, I can't, and I won't. It's not every day you take orders from a radio. Oh. <laughs> uh, and now he's depressed. Uh, Are we at number nine yet? Number nine, finally. One more to go. I can't handle this shit anymore. Dear beloved, we are having the most wonderful time. And now he has a boiler in his house. I don't know where. With flowers and pleasantries. I hope you get well soon. Is the rape it's tree from the evil dead coming to get you? Great war. Ah. <laughs> Siri! <laughs> you, Siri, you just eat something that just comes out of, into your door, huh? You'd better have a good reason for all this rumpus, Mr. Branches. Daddy, look, look what happened to my end bits, Daddy! Oh, uh. someone's got a poorly. We'll have to get some bubble trumps and vinegar on there before it falls off. I'm cold out here, Daddy! I'm cold! Well, you'd better get a move on and start growing out of those branches. If you want to come inside. <laughs> That's not fair, Daddy! <laughs> and he cries too! That's some disturbing shit. I feel my day of reckoning may be approaching. I suppose I'd better alert the correspondents. Bring help. There's, you're wife. living in the middle of nowhere, man. Mother always said the scarlet fever would be my final departure. Can't leave the tree behind. What the shit? You're someone's father, yo. The tree is sad. We're still at number nine. Number ten is not here yet. Good lord. I've yearned for this day. I never thought she would arrive. His dad is pancreas, his liver, Apples, what? Apples, nappy, oh. smiles and wee. To my heart, you found the key. Baby Yvonne is born today. Baby Yvonne. The angels say she's here Salad to fingers, stay. along with his baby Yvonne. Ah, you've got your mother's eyes. What? Mother? And she was a fair maiden too. Make no mistake. Eee. Still at number nine, huh? Be able to attend the war today. Uh, 
As I am it's all scribbles. A little, You're not writing little anything. Paper. Heavens to Betsy, what now? Use a pen, Satchel Bob. Use a fucking pen. You're supposed to be doing your exercise, Yvonne. A lethargic child is a servant to the beast. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, Which she has shoulders, none of. Why am I calling this she? It's an it. Jolly cross with you in a minute. I think we've been given a duff one, Marjorie. Still at number nine. Uh. It's the thing that n it's number nine that never ends. I swear to God. The condition is worsening, Yvonne. I'm afraid caring for you might be out of my current grasp. Ah, uh, that's a shame. You were doing a first-rate job. I'll make some appointments. Home. Needed. For. Meddlesome child. God damn it! Still at number nine, the I see. Anti-Bainbridge. Just when you think it's going to be at number 10, it still goes on. It still goes on with number 9. She'll she'll make a fanciful young gentlewoman of you and she'll have you in farming. Now, did you remember to pack your trestle table? Well, it's too late to go back now. Oh no, not this guy. Anti Bainbridge. Now there's a rosy rascal. <laughs> Give us a hug, you old dame. Run. Or do that? I remember you'd sing me a shilling's worth and then smack my bottom raw for being a fussy fidget pot. Uh, All in okay. Faded days. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to say um, it? I'm just here to, um, oh, to uh, clean your windows. That's right, I think. Yes, I think I must be. <whistles> Them's a bit mucky, missus. Should be one for Saturday lads, really. Don't qualm, mind. I'll chuck you this one for notes. How long is this video? I got 10 minutes left. Ah. Clean your windows, huh? And he eats a sandwich. So I guess it's lunchtime. Number 10, number 10, number 10, let it be number 10, fuck yes, yes, number 10 is here, I'm so happy, <laughs> oh my god, it's almost over, it's almost over. rather polite if you took a hot bath M Milford cubicle and another dead body eh you're a bit pooey Hubert 
Come back tail. Oh, them strauss is a bit posh sunshine. And how old are you going to be? They do grow up fast. Who on earth could that be? Did he move to a different house? That's a different house. It looks different. Who the devil are you? <laughs> Let's see what the fingers make of all this. Oh, y you appear to be free of all information. It's a giant pipe. advise you, young Binnikins, not to associate yourself with such an ignorant, textualist pole. You just met the pole. How is it ignorant? Are you Hubert's birthday stick? No answer. As I expected. And how did the pipe... Knock the door. With, I won't ask you again. Well, someone's a saggy slumber chaps. Hold on, this might get your gears in motion. A day you've chosen to fall under. Horace, you're in charge until I get back. I have no idea what to explain what I just saw. My head's just pounding with Ma, what the fuck did I just watch? Am I just saying that now after all the shit I just seen? Don't you crumple your face up at me, Hubert Jason Cumberdale. We've a duty to fetch the doctor, since our wandering guest has fallen ill. The doctor, eh? One must look in Gallifrey. He's probably not there. Now sit tidy and wait for the GP. <gasps> there he is. Trusty old Dr. Papanak. <laughs> Just here for the old once over, Doc. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I suppose you'll be checking me. <laughs> Nimpers and camel spots. <laughs> He's having sex with the fucking doll, isn't he? And the doll comes alive now? Why not? Why the fuck not? And the horse is just taking it, not screaming whatsoever. It's got the sad eyes, though. I, I know it hurts. Just try and sit still. Whilst the doctor eats your blood. You don't hear that every day, do you? Just sit still while the doctor eats your blood. Which my knickers were awfully late. I must have slept for six Mondays. 
Four minutes left. <laughs> <coughs> Suddenly, a horse. Horses. Christ in staples. Uh, Horace, I said you could bring one friend. I'm not even going to question this anymore. <gasps> Mr. Cubicle, uh, what's become of your outer casing? Your, your butter hollow structure? You foul creatures. When I find which one of you wretched beasts consumed Mr. Cubicle's flesh, oh, there'll be heavens to pay. Go on, bugger off. The bloody lot of you. Get out of my house. <sighs> you again. I don't think he ever I left. Why am I calling it a he? It's an it. You. you should feel a great shame for this outcome, sir. A great shame. Oh. I, I, I see you invited. The whole platoon. There is more of him now. Great. Is this remaining seat reserved for me? He must be Canadian. Pipe is leaving. And I brought a present for some reason. Uh, 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 for me? Oh, uh, I thought you'd all forgotten. I don't think they know they're even there. A human hat? Oh, I shall wear it from here to the grave. What a truly special day. Bang, fucking fuck this shit is over. Oh my god. What the fuck did I just watch? Uh, it's some good animation though. But it's the most fucked up thing I ever seen. Like I said, it's some good animation. I just don't know what oh I need to fucking drink something. Ugh. Oh. I don't know what else to say. Good animation, but a fucked up premise. I'm just glad it's over. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.